Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic, the key responsibilities of product owner. Friend, today's topic is very interesting, especially if you have interest in Agile and Scrum. So, let's start, friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well, so that my new videos can reach to you. Also, you can follow me on the Facebook page and Instagram as well. Friend, if there is a more widely misunderstood job title than product owner, we would like to see it. As a professional in the product field, uh, you might have uh, uh, s uh, some idea of what a product owner does. However, even if your understanding of the role might be incorrect, more than on this below, but imagine what the title must sound like to someone entirely outside the product field. What is a product owner actually? Friend, part of the confusion is that the product owner role is relatively new. It originated as part of the Scrum Agile framework in software development which has been around only a couple of decades. As Scrum and Agile uh, became more popular, businesses in industries other than software began to adopt the framework creating jobs for product owners. But many of these businesses had different ideas of what their product owners should be doing. Today it's clear that the product owner is not a universally defined or understood role. Here is what a product strategy professional with an IT uh, uh, background told us about product owners. The roles and responsibilities of product owners come from two sources. How the organization views this role and how the product owner himself or herself defines the role and delegates to the team. Depending on the company's size, size of the product team, capability, character or PPO, this may vary significantly. There is no one size fits all solution. As we have written here at uh, in this video, there are at least three widespread definitions of the product owner role. In some organizations, the product owner is a technical me member of the development team. In others, the job is more strategic and designed to represent the needs and interests of customers. Other companies assign uh, their product owners to oversee development sprints. The product owner bridges the gap between product strategy and development. They are usually responsible for the product backlog, organizing sprints and are expected to answer questions from developers as needed. Compared to the product manager's strategy focused role, the product owner generally takes on more tactical duties. So what are a product owner's major responsibilities? Managing and prioritizing the product backlog. We'll uh, list and discuss that in detail. The product backlog is an essential document for agile organizations because it captures and prioritizes the development team's user stories to work on in upcoming sprints. But whether or not an organization follows the agile sprint framework, its product owners will spend much of their time and focus reviewing the backlog of development tasks and prioritizing what the developers should take on next. This helps make sure that the team executes according to the product management team's strategic goals and priorities. Translating product managers strategies to task for development. When we stated above that uh, product man owners manage the backlog, we did not mean that simply uh, moved existing user stories and other task level details around the backlog. Product owner must be more proactive than that. In many cases, they are responsible for drafting for at least refining these stories into tasks that the development team can execute on. Product owners uh, take initiatives from the product managers break them down into stories or actionable chunks of value and work with the engineering team to implement them. Learning the market and customers needs to be useful in translating their company's strategic plan into the right execution steps. Product owners must understand their market and customer needs. This often involves working with product managers to learn about what problems they are aiming to solve with the product, 
what customer needs or desires have informed their product strategy and what the team will view as product success. Gaining this high level knowledge of the market, uh, customer persona and product strategy help product owners more effectively perform several of their day to day tactical fun function including breaking product management epics into user stories, arranging and prioritizing sprints, evaluating progress at each stage of development, answering deaf questions about the reasoning for user stories or task, serving as a liaison between product and development. Product managers set the big picture goals and strategy for their product's success the engineering or development team built by the physical or digital product, but between these two ends of the product development spectrum, there is a lot of room for interpretation and misinterpretation. Product owners act as a bridge to connect the product and development teams. This they translate their understanding of the product manager's vision and what each product's area is designed to do for its users. This enables them to explain to the dev team the, the how and the why behind all user stories and other tasks they are prioritizing, staying accessible to development to answer questions. When they are working stories and uh, other tasks during a sprint, the development team might be unclear about a particular job assigned to them they might not understand, for example, why a user story calls to design the product functionality in a particular way. They might also believe they have a faster, more efficient way to build the functionality but are not sure if doing so could undermine product management strategic goal in some way. In, in these instances, the development team should ask the product owner for answers and guidance because the company's development sprints are time box actually usually two weeks or a month at the longest at the time will need these answers quickly. For these reasons, the product owner should be accessible to the development team and prepared to respond to their questions immediately. Conclusion, the product owner is a key part of the team. As you can uh, see. The product owner plays an extremely valuable role in helping an organization bring its products to market successfully. As uh, so basically as a product owner, we add value by prioritizing the right work at the right time and making sure everyone on the team is aligned on the reasoning behind that work to help ensure the continuous delivery of value to our users. So friend, uh, thank you. Thanks a lot for uh, watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And uh, thanks a lot for watching the video. Thank you friends.